Well, my name is Flo, and I am a Connie, and I am a southern white woman looking for my man. I'm Catherine Parler. I'm a Connie, and I'm an independent woman that don't need no man. Hey, I'm Hannah Ashley. I'm also a Connie, and you know that means that I'm always the very first one wasted at every Wofford party. My name is Arisha Lights, and I'm a rich southern white woman trying to get my MRI's degree. My name is Katherine John, and I am an angry, man-eating, raging feminist. I'm a Connie, and I hate men. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all men! Okay. I'm Katherine Parler. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I chose Converse because um, I walked in Wilson Hall, and I really liked the drapes. <laughs> Really Victorian and well, my real name is Flo Nasia Niels, but most people know me as Flo. And um, I chose Converse because I came here over spring break and I was dead set on Winthrop, but I came here and I talked to the cross country coach and I talked to the admissions office, and everyone just seemed so nice. And I'm Gracie, I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I chose Converse because of their outstanding art history program. And I transferred here from SMC last year, and I chose Converse because of the diversity that I knew that Converse would encompass, and also for their excellent academic programs. In Florida, <laughs> no one knows about Converse, so when I do have to explain <laughs> that um, it is an all-women's college, not an all-girls school, they, uh, <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is, there's no guys? What do you think about the stereotypes of Converse. I don't like them. I feel like sometimes they're right, but overall the average Converse girl is not what people think. But I always like dress to impress or whatever and like make like I'm always like polite and like make try to make a good impression around everyone. Because then, like, people will see that the stereotype, like, of the school isn't mm -hmm. necessarily true about all the people out there. But, um, I mean, I just, I don't care because I know I have a purpose and I'm there for one reason, well, two reasons, mm -hmm. so what other people say don't matter. And people who know me know who I am, so, yeah. Um, but once I got here, I realized, too, that the girls are not the snobs that everybody makes them out to be. They are beautiful, intelligent women who are just trying to reach mm -hmm. their goals potential. I agree. Um, I think education today is especially important for females because in order for you know men to take women um, seriously, we have to have an education. We have to be twice as good as they are at anything and everything. I think we do need to get more women educated so that they can be in leadership positions. I am a politics major with a minor in psychology. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Um, what I tell everybody that I picked up from my three years of being here was um, women empowerment. Um, I love everything about the department. I love the, you know, the competitive nature of all the women. business. Um, it will be a mentorship. It's called Jack's Learning Program, J-A-U-K. My aspirations are to get engaged before I graduate so I can be thrown into the fountain, then get married after graduation, and then go to grad school, possibly to be a nurse. To um, work for the Department of the Interior eventually, um, and work towards Native American rights. My business degree, I didn't want to own my own company. I want to do it. Like, I kind of want to open up a children's home, like, later on, like, down the line when I'm, like, 40 and, and have money. <clears throat> so I can, because, like, I was watching a show on, like, MTV Cribs and stuff, and they had, like, the cool house, and they had a slide in there. And, like, I went to volunteer at an orphanage, and, like, it was just so sad. Like, it was just sad. Like, it looked like Annie. I was like, what is this? What is, are, are we filming Annie here? So go to, na go to law school, study Native law. Um, you know, maybe work for a tribe for a couple years and work as a liaison in tribal government. 
together. Um, my goal was to, and it still is, to start an orchestra program in a low socioeconomic school. This is going to sound so bad. I want to go to law school so I can find the future president. <laughs> I believe in you, no, definitely. As long as I can visit the White House. You know, the United States of America is like the only place that has not had a female president. As I am going to run for governor of Florida and potentially senator and then head to president of the United States again. <laughs> well, I didn't think so before I got here. And then I met Dr. Walker. <laughs> she changed my life. <laughs> You didn't think that she could do both, or? I didn't even, like, consider it. Like, I didn't want to. I didn't even want to, like, think about it. Mm-hmm. But. Um, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, if a woman wants to stay in the home, that's awesome. I just, I can't see myself doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, I can cook. I can clean. I can make sure the house is tidy. And if I bear children, make sure they're good. But I'm not staying home the entire day. I'm working. <laughs> well, I always tell like my sisters and my teammates, like, this is how I see my life. Like, I feel like I'm going to graduate from college, you know, maybe go to grad school, and then I'm going to black out for like maybe like five years, and then I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to have these kids all around me. So I don't really see myself <laughs> getting married. Like, I can picture like a wedding, but I don't picture like a person there. If we want to be number one in the career of our choice, we are free to do that. Um, but also, too, we have the ability, if we want to be a stay-at-home mom and, you know, work, you know, in the home and just take care of our kids, we have the ability to do that, too. Um, some women are even empowered enough to do both. Um, so, and I really don't want to have kids. I'm going to be fine. My sisters will get really mad. Yeah, they might not like. They're all gonna much. have fake IDs. Come on, you thought you're crazy. I think a woman should have the ability to support herself if necessary. But mm -hmm. I know I want my husband to run the household. I want him <laughs> to be in charge, and I can work on my own pleasure. <laughs> and then once I've kind of got my job under my belt. Then I guess we'll get married. Because <laughs> that has to happen at some point. I feel like that's a good time. For me personally, I know I want to have a career, but I also want to eventually have a family one day. And um, I'm going to work it out to where I can balance both. But yeah, so maybe one day I'll get married. But if I don't get married, I don't really care. As long as I have a kid. So, yeah. so as long as there is a cute little baby, you're yeah. fine. Yeah, I need a little flow running around. Yeah. Okay, but can I just say this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be the first lady because I want to be, like, the wife of the president. Because you know how Nancy Reagan was basically the president? Mm-hmm. That's good. So you just... Doing it from behind the scenes. So seat. instead of running for like president he'll... yourself, <laughs> you're going to marry <laughs> in. <laughs> so basically, he's going to be the head of state, and you'll just be the neck, and you'll just be like, oh, <laughs> turn it whatever the hell you want. Yep. <laughs> Like, it's, a lot of people, like, they try to make a big fuss, like, they talk about it and stuff, but if you don't put things into action, like, it's really meaningless words, like, it's just, I mean, just talk, like, you can talk about something all day, like, if you don't do anything for it, like, I mean, what's your talking going to do, you know? Can I just say, like, I don't want to interfere. No, it's oh, like, no, uh, that's not good. Uh, women's progress has actually started decreasing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we... We as women um, face hardships when it comes down to the world accepting us for who we are and what abilities we have to contribute. I don't know. I don't want to say like they feel bad about being successful, but like they don't. They don't feel as confident. Guys, you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't want to be like inappropriate, appropriate, but you know, guys, you know, on. they like sex, and so if you hold out, just say, yeah, you want to be getting cookies tonight. Go ahead and pass that bill for women's rights. Ah, that rhymes! I didn't even see that coming. All right. Yeah. <laughs> because the world sees women, they're either like emotional and ditzy, 
which obviously wouldn't be good mm -hmm. ground for a leader. Or if they're the kind of women that are like, yeah, we can do this, then pe they come off as just like really mean and like not friendly at all. Mm -hmm. Come on, really? Can we really like see the? Can we really appreciate you know our women, the people, <laughs> people who bear us, you know, for who they are and, and what power they have, and, and just embrace them. I guess I think about other countries where women have absolutely no rights, and I'm not going to complain about everything that I have. I understand how you can always aim higher, but I mean there are bigger issues, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. Um, continue to work hard, you know, push yourself, you know, academically and physically and just, you know, be the best you can be and don't give up even when times are hard. But I also see that, yes, media does take a lot um, or has a lot of impact on advocating for those issues, again, both negatively and positively, but I think it also starts in the household as well. Oh, Let's understand the power, the power of the cookie. Say. Go Valkyries! <laughs> go. Oh, I don't want to go first. You go first. I am a Connie. Is my turn? Are you a Connie or are you? <laughs> I'm a Connie too. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? She's as Connie as they come. Connie-licious. <laughs>